It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the Washington Commanders and the Dallas Cowboys, and it comes your way next on Madden Football. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Lone Star State and the very mammoth AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Today, rivals square off in the NFC East, and we've got a great matchup between the Washington Commanders and the Dallas Cowboys. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Greg Zerline's got it teed up, and off we go from Arlington. Taking in at the three. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. So out comes the Washington offense onto the field. And they will be let out by their rookie quarterback. His ability to adjust on the fly is almost unmatched in the game right now because it leads to a couple of snaps per game where you just sit back and ask yourself, how did he pull that off? Opponents can practice and prepare each and every week all they want, but this guy, he is hard to corral. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Over the... And oh, right away, he lost the football. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. To put it mildly, that is not the way anyone wants to start off a game. You fumble on your first offensive snap. But now what you're worried about is, does that linger throughout the game for your guys on offense? And how's the defense going to handle it? Because no one expects to run out on the field on the first play and have to all of a sudden start to play themselves. So first and 10 now from the 30. Play action. It's Aikman. It's caught on the right side at Smith. And he's going to get this down near the 25. From the 25, here's second and six. On the draw, this is Smith. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea Slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. Let's 
So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Now it's Aikman. And his throw is incomplete. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. To throw is Aikman. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. The commander's bringing out the nickel package on third down. Here's Aikman setting to throw it. This is caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Well, only their first drive, Charles, but they talked to us about needing to convert on third down, in particular not letting third and short opportunities slip through their fingers. Well, they were successful right there. It also tells you that they're successful on first and second down as well to get to third and manageable and make them able to pick up those first downs. Now here we are, first and goal. They've got to like what they're doing on this drive. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. Walker. Diving for the end zone, and he is in. Touchdown. But just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him, he's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in, have to report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7-0 Cowboys. A drive that time of six plays. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. They had the fumble on the last drive, wound to the opening touchdown. Now they'll try again here, first and ten. Now a first carry for their fullback. And trying to push forward, but he is going to be stuffed up in the backfield. Two yards the loss, second and 12. After a play like that, it should be congratulations all the way around, I think, because if you can stop a big fullback like that, that's not easily done. Yeah, he does not go down easily. You're right, but he did there. The opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. They'll drop the throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. I don't care who you put on him. He's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man. -man, maybe needs some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. 
Third and inches, and they've got some extra beef up front. Three tight ends. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he's going to have a commander's first down as he's able to get about three that time on third and inches. Third and inches, they just hand it to the big battering ram there. That's, I mean, that's football 101, isn't it? That's bread and butter. Turn around, hand it to the big fella, and let him get forward for a first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. And again, they'll go right back to their fullback. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there, second down. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. And on third down, the Cowboys bring in an extra defensive back. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get on track in this one. Washington going to send out their punter as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. And now a low liner. I think he missed hit it. And this one goes sailing out of bounds. Where did it cross? Well, they're going to say on this side of midfield. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. This could end up being a pretty big drive. I mean, look, yes, it's early in this game, but they scored the touchdown. They got the stop. And now if they could get in the end zone here again, CD, they could grab an early stranglehold on this one. Yeah, they certainly can. And that's what you're looking for. Where's the advantage? Can you gain it? Can you press it? Now for them, finishing it off because right now it's out there for them. They've just got to go seize it. Looking to pass. Aikman on first down. He finds his man complete. That's Owens. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. And they'll be inside the 35 down of the 34-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They go play action with Aikman. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Coming up on a second and six. Inside handoff, Smith. And a good-looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. 
from the red zone now. They'll look to throw, and it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away, but the bottom line is that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Out of the gun, it's Aikman. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Now play number seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and ten. Now Aikman. And this is caught at the eight. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the ten to the seven. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice game for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. Looking to throw again here, Aikman. And that's incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. On second down, it's Walker. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. And they've stopped them on the first two downs. Obviously, this is an important play coming up here. I think it's more so for the guys on defense because if they stop them here, I think they've set the tone for the entire game, how difficult it's going to be to score on them. And this is going to be intercepted. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And the Commanders are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. And the defense, Charles, they bit a little bit, but they did not break. And then on third and goal there, the huge interception. I'm thinking of the momentum they're carrying with them right now, Brandon, because in their mind, whether they want to admit it or not, they were conceding three points. Their goal was to keep them out of the end zone, not give up a touchdown. Instead, they give up nothing. What a big-time play and a big-time stop by them. They've gone to their fullback quite a bit. He'll get it again. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I don't think that play had a chance to succeed right from the start. Unfortunately, they couldn't call that one back. The defense was well aware of what they were trying to get done. Second and 11. Sideline throw. It's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. So five yards here, five on the play. And now third down and six to go. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, doing a little toe tap to stay inbounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. First time these two have hooked up this afternoon, and it's a first down. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds it for the first down.
Back to throw now on first down. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. They'll run it here. This is their fullback getting the carry. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. Wide open receiver complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 29-yard line. A solid gain of 15 yards in the sticks move. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because it gets a man. It's often a tight curl, tight, sharply run route. Again, zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. They'll look to throw here on first down. Smith catches left side. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Second and five. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 12-yard line. 11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going, and right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage, as shown by that last play. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. They'll look to throw again. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. Definitely not the ideal time to see that mistake, partner, because this is still a one-possession game, and that's at least a field goal that just vanished with that turnover. Now, pressure's on defensively to prevent that pick from turning into points for the other side. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. They got the ball now following a big play, keeping the other guys out of the end zone. Now they'll start deep in their own territory, first and 10. They begin with a run by Smith, and he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. On second down, here's Aikman. Over the middle complete, it's Hayes. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Aikman on third down. And he'll just get rid of it. 
Yeah, it's still early in the game. No sense taking a chance on third down and forcing one into traffic. So I like the wise play he made there. Get it to the sideline out of bounds where no one's going to have a chance at it. Out now comes the Cowboys punter, standing about a yard deep in his own end zone. Oh, it's a wobbler here. And not his best effort there, as this one's going to be spotted down just outside of the 40-yard line. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. And Washington with the football here to begin quarter number two as they get set to start their drive with a first and ten. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Over the middle, that's caught by Taylor. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Three yards remain for second down. On the give, this is their fullback. And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31 yard line. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or also just sit back, they're going to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Washington on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. He'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Certainly looked like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time. Ends up leading him just a bit too much. So on fourth down, Ron Rivera sends out the field goal unit. This one from 48 yards away. That is inches from the upright. It's no good. Wide to the left, and this will stay at a seven-point game. So on fourth and one, the decision is, hey, let's take three. But lo and behold, they'll come away with nothing. Yeah, it's a disappointing outcome, isn't it? Especially since you know that offense didn't want to come off the field. And now not only do they not get the chance to go for it, they don't get the three points either. Dallas offense set for this next drive. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember. But no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and ten as this new drive starts. So the missed field goal, and now they're in great shape. They'll start at the 38. A first down carry for Smith. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Just a yard to go here on second down. They go back to the ground with Smith. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 57 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that they don't start to slow him down. It's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. From Commander's territory now, it's first and 10, down at the 33. Smith up the middle. 
And some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Here's a give to Smith. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. Now Aikman to throw on second down. To the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Ake middle throw, and Walker with it over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. That's a play that'll likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. On first and ten, it's Aikman firing quickly here, and that's complete. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. That time they hit him out of the slot on the drag. And that route takes some fortitude from the guy running it because he knows he's going through the briar patch, as I like to call it, right? He's trying to work his way through all that traffic and people wanting to put a little contact on him. Really well done. Again, it's Aikman. He completes this to Walker. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. This will wind up a loss on the play. And now what we have here, a third and goal. Well, it looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and he tackled him for a loss. Now from back at the five, this is third and goal. Now Aikman looking to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. And based on my math, they've only converted one time thus far in this game. So you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit. Third downs, they've been a problem for them all game. They've got to start becoming solutions. Fourth down, Cowboy kicker Greg Zerline comes on. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. Zerline's kick is up and through, and that will extend their lead even further. So that one on target, and it adds to this first half lead. And maybe we're too early to worry too much about one score lead, two score lead, etc. But this is where you kind of start banking those points that come in helpful later on. For the main field goal, Zerline back out there now to send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Now we get another look at Washington on offense. Nothing for him yet from an offensive standpoint. Down 10 zip as they come up first and 10.
A give to the fullback on the dive. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Probably a bit of a surprise call there on first down, but how about a tone setter for the drive? Picking up nice yardage with the big man setting the tone physically. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. And now a carry here for their fullback. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. If they're going to get a first down out of this, they're going to have to earn it because there's been tough going in the interior there. And here we are on third and one. Be prepared. Brace yourself. Could be some contact going on. Washington on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. And it's complete to Mitchell. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed, picking up the first. They'll look to throw now on first down. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Complete. This is Mitchell. A huge play there for Washington. And even 50 yards for an offense that has not found the end zone yet. That's a big play. There's the spark right there. The big play that they needed. Now they've got to go ahead and finish this drive and put this ball in the end zone. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Again, he'll drop to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Washington. From eight yards out. And the commanders are back within a score. That pass also evens the ledger for the rookie quarterback. Had the interception earlier, and now he gets the touchdown throw. The ideal touchdown to interception ratio is what? Three to one for the best quarterbacks? But he's a rookie. Just getting back to even is a big deal. Increases the confidence his teammates have in him as he tries to become their leader. Extra point safely through, and that'll cut it to three at 10-7. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fields this way up at the 17 and makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. They'll throw on first down with Aikman. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Yeah. 
Out of the gun, Walker with it. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Here's Aikman setting to throw it. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Smith. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it's second down. Play action. It's Aikman. He finds his man complete. It's Owens. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 42. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. Two yards the loss, second and 12. That's the danger, Charles, of running plays like this for your wide receiver. They can hit big or they can be duds. Yeah, you're exactly right about that because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage, sometimes you can give yardage in order to gain it. But in this case, they gave yardage and didn't get it back. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. A handoff to Smith. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. To throw is Aikman. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. They'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. So on trots the field goal unit, and wow, this is going to be a challenge here. They spot it on the midfield stripe, so it is a 60-yard attempt here. And this one is no good. He missed it. And that will keep this a three-point game. I don't care who you are. 60 yards is a very ambitious attempt. Hard to make even in practice in the best of conditions. And now, worst of all, you have the other guys the ball to start their drive at midfield. And here we go on the next drive for Washington. Well, the football changing hands here, and as this offense takes a field, Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. They go play action here on first down. Oh, going deep here for Taylor. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Quality coverage that time to slow down has been the main source of offense against them thus far. Got to find a way to slow down that ball in the air. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. 
From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Over the middle, the catch made by Mitchell. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Two minutes remaining in the first half. 10-7, our score. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. They'll look to throw here. Caught on the right side, Reed. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. Yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Back to throw again. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Got a man complete, it's Taylor. And he's gonna have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 18. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. Well, they obviously read man coverage their partner and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Bro? Yeah, he made him think he was gonna run a different route. Probably thought he was gonna take it upfield. Then he curls back inside for the completion. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They'll look to throw again. They set up the screen to Portis. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Now back to throw. And he wisely will throw that one away. This Cowboy defense looked ready for that third down pass. Brings up fourth. So on fourth down, Ron Rivera sends out the field goal unit. It's a 39-yard attempt right hash. And his kick is good. And that will knot us up at 10. So he gets a shot at atoning for the earlier miss here in the first half and able to knock it through. And what a relief for him, don't you think? Because how many games have we done where kickers missed one early and never gotten a chance to atone for it the rest of the game? That's a lot to carry around. Level now at 10 apiece as the kicks away. This one fielded at the five. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Cowboy offense going to head out now late in this first half. And they've got a little over 40 seconds to work with if they want to try to put something together.
Looking to pass, Aikman on first down. Over the middle, that's caught by Owens. Now the Cowboys are gonna burn the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Second down and three. Now it's Aikman. And this is incomplete. Textbook coverage right there. Played the ball, never lost sight of where it was headed, and stayed in perfect position to make a play on it. Able to keep the receiver and the quarterback in his sight lines. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Now Aikman. And this is caught by Witten, the tight end. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Now Aikman on first down toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Whenever I see a drop like that, I have to kind of take a step back and check myself a little bit. So used to seeing those big guys make big time spectacular plays that when they drop one, I have to remind myself, we ask a lot out of these guys. Block and catch the football, not easily done in today's NFL. On second down, Aikman. That ball nearly intercepted. The rookie had his hands on it, but couldn't pull it in. A pretty rocky start in this game for the guy throwing the ball. Already has thrown one interception. Almost threw a second one right there. All he's doing right now is giving the defense a whole lot of confidence. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Aikman going to throw again. And he fires one that's intercepted. And the Commanders are going to take possession of the football. You can easily see the logic. It's a tie game. They just wanted to press it a little bit right before the half, hoping to get one more score. Yeah, easy to second-guess the result, but now you have to think after that interception, just a field goal, and they're behind at the break. Yeah, I think at the half, the head coach just says, look, that's on me. I wanted to press it, but it's because I believe in you guys. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Mitchell. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. Now with five seconds left, not really enough time to run another play and then stop it. So on comes the field goal unit. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And they will take the lead at 13 to 10. Well, they're able to come away with the interception, Charles. They aren't able to move the ball all that much. However, they do get three out of it with a field goal. Yeah, and anytime you do force a turnover, you have to come out of it with points. Everybody wants six. But they'll take the three there. Now it's their opportunity to do it again. Oh. 
So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. This one taken just inside the 10. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. First up, though, let's take a look at the next-gen stats from that first half for Washington. And it's been the passing game that's been the story. They have feasted on the secondary to the tune of 200-plus yards already through two quarters. Meanwhile, for the Cowboys, they weren't quite as successful throwing the ball as their counterparts were, but they still were able to move the ball reasonably well in that first half. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. It's the Cowboys who get the football first, and they trail here as well as we resume action in the third quarter. This one fielded at the five. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Out come the Cowboys now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And they trail here to begin the second half. What's going to be a key for them to get back in the game? I think they're right there, and I think this game is still up for the taking for them because we always talk about turnovers. They had two of them in the first half, and once you start talking about if you have three, four, or five, you know it's beyond difficult to try and win a football game with that. Those have to be eliminated. If they take care of the ball, they've still got a shot. First down, here's Aikman. He finds his man complete. That's Hayes, and he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender. And that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now Aikman looking to throw. And on the left side, he's got Witten. And he'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Cowboy first down. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Aikman will throw. This little short throw to Winton, and they're going to get this up to midfield. I don't care what sport you're playing, everyone likes to build up a little momentum, don't they? And look at this, back-to-back -back completions to the big target at tight end. That one not as profitable as the other, but still a decent game. Looking to throw again here, Aikman, over the middle, complete. That's Owens. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. And now we're going to get a stoppage. A member of the Cowboys shake it up. The medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break.
They'll throw on first down with Aikman. He's going to sling this deep downfield. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. They have not gotten him going at all. Trying to spark something there with a longer throw, unable to complete it. But you have to keep trying. He's one of their best playmakers. No matter what it says on the scoreboard, you're always trying to get him the football. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Again, it's Aikman. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Pearson. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. They'll try for the first with Walker. And he's going to get to the 31, enough for the first down. They're able to convert with a gain of four. They had yet to run the ball at all on this drive, but third and short definitely was a great time to dial one up. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Back to Walker on first down. And he'll fight forward on the straight ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Here's Aikman setting to throw it. And Walker with it over the middle. And he's going to get this down near the 25. An extra man here in the secondary for Washington on third down. To throw is Aikman. Over the middle, complete. That's Owens. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A field goal helps, but a touchdown gets you the lead. That had to be the message transmitted in the huddle. And they delivered there as that throw is going to keep the drive alive. And even better than that, set them up with a first and goal. Looking to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. From eight yards out. And the Cowboys have retaken a third quarter lead. That's why you've got your star out there. Throw the ball to him. They did. That's simply saying we don't care what coverage you put out there. He's so good. We're going there with the football anyway, and there's not a thing you can do about it. Inside the red zone, they go to him. He gets it done. Now Zerline on and the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. So that one along a long 11-play drive, and it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. First chance for the commander's offense now as they head out for their opening series of the second half. Let's go! 
And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. Now a throw over the middle, and he's got it to start the drive. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Complete to Taylor on the slant. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 22 yards there, a first down. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. You can just kind of sense the momentum turning here. It's first and ten. Now a draw play, it's Portis. As he's got this down inside the 40 to the 39. Just what you want on a first down run, call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. On play action, they'll throw. He's going to let it go deep for Mitchell. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 29-yard line. It's a 10-yard pickup, and that's enough to move the chains. I like the fact that they did have a couple of things on that call. Third and two, just run the quick little hitch, which they did. Ball's out of quarterback's hands. And yes, indeed, they pick up the first down. They'll try and run with their fullback. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Good solid gain on first down. About what you'd expect from the big guy carrying the ball. Six yards left on second down. They'll set up to throw. It's caught. Mitchell. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the 10. 90 yards receiving now for him in the ball game. It's a first down. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. They'll look to throw. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked 
picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to have the football at their own one-yard line. Those INTs all sting, but you throw one in the red zone. I think especially as a rookie, maybe it stings a little bit more. I think what you're saying is they don't all count the same, do they? Mm -hmm. Right? Interceptions in the red zone that you've given up points now, those are precious. So you have to learn from those and in a hurry. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. But the good news for them, they got the football. The bad news, they have to go 99 yards here as they start this drive out on their own one-yard line. Here's Walker to start the drive. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. And give him a lot of credit there, but even more credit to the guys up front. In that situation, you know it's going to be a stacked defensive front. And to be able to gain that much yardage, that's a big win for the guys on offense. Yeah, they were just about standing on their own goal line, so to get a few yards there, a great start. Now we'll see what second down breaks. And that won't buy him much room. Just a one-yard gain to the five. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Facing the prospect of a punt from their own end zone, they need some cushion. Let's see what they can do on third down. He'll look to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking of throwing to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field, and a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. Now they can breathe a little easier, some room to operate as they've got it first and 10 now out past the 20. Aikman operating from the gun. That one thrown away from the pocket. And the officials kind of looking at each other, but they'll say there was a receiver in the area, so no penalty, just an incomplete pass. And when you've thrown as many interceptions as he has in this one, you definitely start getting a little hesitant to throw the ball out wide because that's prime pick six territory. That time, he made sure the only guy who was going to catch it was sitting in the third row. The throw over the middle taken in. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll try to run for it with Smith. And this is going to be a Cowboys first down as the tackle made at the 35-yard line. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Back to throw here. He finds his man complete. It's Pearson. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. Now here's the option play going left. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. Nice pickup. Ten yards and a first down on the keeper. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard.
From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. This little short throw to Winton, and he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Second and six. A give to Smith out of the gun. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. But really, that was no surprise there. They've been running it well all game, and I know goals change all the time, but any team will take that type of run each and every time. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. Now it's Aikman. And that will be incomplete. Uh, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. Meeting the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. And boy, this is going to be close. That mark looks a little short, and he didn't get there. The fullback dive held up short. And this long drive is going to wind up yielding nothing. And that was just brute strength against brute strength and defensive brute one out there. We often talk about leverage in a game, offensive line versus defensive line. Who can get lower and create some space? In this case, as you pointed out, the defensive line got it done. Yeah, they went to the fullback dive, could not get the first. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 40. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. It's Washington with the football, but trailing here as we begin quarter number four. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They'll look to throw here. Now, quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earn a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. They're going to look to throw. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. We're going to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. Washington on third down. They've had good success, five for eight to this point. This is third and ten. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he'll be stopped here well short of the first down at the 24-yard line. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because 
You're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling him almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. And with the scoreboard against them here in the fourth quarter, this was definitely four down territory. Really nice job there finding a way to get open. And a really nice throw. That sets them up with first and goal. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. They'll look to throw again. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways called as penalties. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. Cool under pressure right there, escaping the pocket and finding what I think was not his primary target. And some of these guys are just so comfortable getting outside of the, the pocket that they'll do it on purpose. It doesn't even need to be a breakdown. Just I, They move, and they know it affects the defense because a lot of times you get lost in coverage in the secondary, and I think you're exactly right. Wasn't his primary target. Found a secondary guy who sprang open probably because of his movement out of the pocket. Touchdown, Washington from three yards out. And the Commanders have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. Those are the types of plays in these moments they were hoping for from this young rookie able to put him up here in the fourth quarter. How about the kid? You just mentioned it, the fourth quarter. This is when you have to make those winning plays. That's what he just did. Doesn't ensure anything, but he certainly gave his team a heck of a chance, didn't he? Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all, and it ends with a three-yard scoring run. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. Now Aikman, throwing middle, and it's complete. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Back to throw. And this is caught by Witten, the tight end. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. 
found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. First down, here's Aikman. This little short throw to Winton, and they're going to get this up to midfield. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. They'll come up now on second and a yard. Inside handoff, Smith. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. And even 100 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll run it again with Smith. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Hey, man, let's play our game. Well, certainly those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. And let's face it, they're hoping that this one doesn't cost them in a significant way. Yeah, one guy committed a penalty, but now the entire defense has to pay the price and try and rise up and overcome it. Now a draw play. It's Walker, and he'll get this down only to the 18. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. From the shotgun, Aikman. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Yeah, the Cowboys are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Fake middle throw. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. From eight yards out. And the Cowboys answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. But plenty of scoring here of late. And our lead changes hands now in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they just gave up a touchdown the other end, so they knew that with time getting short, they had to put something together here, and they were able to do so and retake the lead right back. The zero line now for the PAT. And that will make this a four-point game. So that drives seven plays in length, and it's capped off for the Cowboys touchdown. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. This one fielded at the five. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. 
And they will be looking to answer the touchdown their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. It's one play at a time, baby. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Now they may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in his performance. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. They'll drop the throw. And this one complete to Reed. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Another first down there as this one goes for 25. Now they, have, they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 37-yard line. They'll give this up the middle to Portis. Dancing away at the 35. And he'll take this down to the 33. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Now back to throw. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. After what they faced during this game where they've given up a ton of yards downfield, there has to be a measure of revenge right there for the secondary. They've been shredded throughout the game and finally forced an incompletion. Washington on third down. They're hitting at 60%, 6 out of 10 thus far. This will be third and six. Working the sideline here. Did he get the feet in? Yes, they say that he did. Nice job tapping both of them down. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here, and now they're set up with a first and goal. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. He'll drop to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. You can't be precise with your throws, especially in this situation. You're inside the 10-yard line going into the end zone. But sometimes the emotion, the excitement, sometimes the decisions just aren't made very well because of that. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Again, he'll drop to throw. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Commanders. A nine-yard touchdown run. And the Commanders have regained the lead. They've already been on record as saying, hey, if our rookie quarterback's going to tuck it and run on a scramble, we kind of hold our breath. Well, that was a maybe no, 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 yes, as he's able to get into the end zone. Are you saying he's got to learn where the line is about whether you keep your eyes downfield and try and find a receiver or you tuck it and go? And I think he's, there's going to be some growing pains with that. I think in this case, he made the right decision. And we know he's got the speed. He showed it there. The point after is good, and that gives him a three-point lead.
Kick team out there for the Commanders as they send this one away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. And out now come the Cowboys. And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. It sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments to prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And yeah, we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Now a throw here to his running back. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Seven yards there and a first down. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. And that'll be a free five yards for the offense. Just like a tennis match, that's just an unforced error. Stay alert. Don't jump early and give them free yardage. So a first and five now after the five-yard penalty from the neutral zone infraction. Here's Aikman setting to throw it. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. But plain and simple, that's the second time today that he's dropped a pass. And that one, I think, maybe even a little easier than the earlier one that he dropped. Surprising. Was this game announced as a night game prior to, and maybe his rhythm got was just off? He got know. thrown off. He's got to wake up, enjoy the sunshine, and go play. Off the play fake, here's Aikman. And that's caught inside the 35. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 34-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Well, we know he's got the speed there. He needed the speed and the hands. A great catch. And because of that speed, you have to respect it as a defender. So you have to either play off or make sure you're somehow in contact with him. And he's able to do exactly what you said. Use the speed to his advantage and go up and get the football. That's a big time play right there. From commander's territory now, it's first and 10 at the 34. Smith. And he'll go down at the 28. 110 yards on the ground for him so far. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Out of the gun, it's Aikman. And that nearly intercepted. It's incomplete. Now, remember, he had a pick earlier, but couldn't reel that one in. I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances, but I don't know that that was the type of a chance you want to take. And that one could very easily have been intercepted. And if it does get picked off, that could possibly seal this one. From the gun on third down is Aikman. On the sideline, did he keep his feet in bounds? They say yes. Great job, both feet in, first down. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. But the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep at the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. 
Now Aikman looking to throw. And he'll just get rid of it. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. Smith is going backwards as he'll be tackled back at the four-yard line. A second down play results in a loss of two yards. I thought they were on to something with their play call and kind of went in reverse a little bit, threw it on first down, then ran it on second down. Not successful either way. What play call do they come up with here on this important third down try? For the lead, here's third and goal. To throw is Aikman. Touchdown, Cowboys! From four yards out. And the Cowboys have yet again retaken the lead. But he is such a matchup nightmare down near the goal line, CD, and another example right there on that play for the touchdown. It's borderline impossible to defend this guy because that kind of size, he can still get out and run a first route, and he has excellent hands. Even if you stick with him, all the quarterback has to do is lob it up, and he can win almost any jump ball. Zerline connects on the extra point, and that will make this a four-point game. The 10 play drive that time, and it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Take it in at the three. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. And Reed with it over the middle. And that's good for a gain of six, and that will bring up second down. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Second down at four. They'll look to throw. To the right side, complete to Taylor. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Commander's football as we get back to it. They come up on a first and 10, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. The throw over the middle taken in, and that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Very sharp here to start this drive, three for three. Yeah, I like the way he's running this two-minute drill. Very sharp, very precise in throwing the football. Clock running as Washington will try and hurry up. He'll look to throw. On oh, a bad time late for a poor throw. It's intercepted. And the Cowboys have just about sewn up this football game. Certainly not what he was hoping for, Charles. That's now three interceptions in this ball game. But there's a lot of knowledge to be gleaned every time you throw an interception if you do things the right way. And 
Hasn't there been a pretty darn good quarterback along the way who threw a lot of interceptions early, learned from them, and became great later? Who would that be? That'd be one Peyton Manning through 28 his rookie year. That's the NFL record. How'd things turn out for him? I think okay. He's a guy in all the commercials now, right? <laughs> yeah, I think he's doing okay. Good starting position for the Cowboys here as they come up first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Here's Smith as he'll try to run some clock, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They go back to the ground with Smith. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. An extra man in the secondary for Washington on third down. Now it's Aikman. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Well, the other day they told us, we've got third and five or less. We have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he's on to kick it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 18-yard line. Now Washington down on the scoreboard. At time, a huge factor. Needing to go pretty much the length of the football field as they have it first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. Well, they have had no answer for this connection all night long. They just have to think in a two-minute situation, that's got to be a concentration lap. You know they're going to go back to him with the game that he's been having. Back to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. And we all know how talented this guy is. He's calling the signals for him. But even the best in the game, they can struggle against a good, cohesive zone coverage. Can't find a gap in the secondary quick enough, and he ends up taking a sack. Wide open receiver complete. Now Washington going to go ahead and use their final timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the ball game. They'll look to throw. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that's intercepted yet again. And that could be the backbreaker. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys have just about sewn up this football game. Boy, you just kind of feel for him right now. Four interceptions, and you can almost see through his face mask. There's a lot going on in between the ears. There certainly is, and probably way too much. Because now, he's probably doubting himself a little bit, wondering what adjustments he has to make. But here's what he needs to do. Get through this game. Go to the press conference, meet it head on, and show your teammates you're ready to shoulder what happened today, and you'll be ready for the next game. And if he can do that as a rookie, that's a great sign of maturity.
So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, and he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. Well, somebody lit a fire under that offense during the break, Charles. Remember, they trailed an intermission. They come out, they have the big second half, and that lifts them to the victory. And Brandon, trailing at halftime, we always talk about teams making adjustments. You know what the best adjustments usually are? It's just executing better. Because the game plan you put in place at the beginning of the week often still holds. You don't have to make wholesale changes. You just have to do a little bit better, a little cleaner. And they did that in the second half, and that led them to victory.